what's up everybody i am back again with another video and today we'll be going on a different reaction so let me read the title for y'all real quick hold on a sir man's new girlfriend attacks hits ex over child support like that's crazy i haven't watched this before i'm gonna watch it i'm gonna react to this for y'all so y'all know to do like comment subscribe turn on the notifications and make sure you don't miss another video and let's get into it She hit me with the door. She pulled up. Well, she backed up first, so I scraped my knees on the ground. I did pull her hair, I believe, like trying to hang on, you know, when she was um, driving with the car when she backed up. So I did try and um, pull on, I don't know, if I grabbed her hair or what I grabbed, but yeah. Incidents often arise when new relationships disrupt family dynamics, leading to court battles over custody, child support, and the inevitable tension between a new partner and the child's other parent. On September 23, 2022, officers were called to a scene where a routine child custody exchange turned violent. The child's mother was meeting with the father when his new girlfriend unexpectedly approached, leading to a physical altercation. What began as a simple exchange quickly escalated into an assault, with the girlfriend mugging the woman through her window, opening her car door, and attacking her with a closed fist. Here is what happened. So, you, you get there, you're waiting for your, your baby daddy to, to yeah. exchange uh, children, okay? Mm -hmm. The child. Your child was with you originally or he with was, him? He was originally with his father. Okay, he was coming to you? He was coming to me. Okay. You're welcome. When he... Uh, did your son get into the, in the car already? No, or? he wasn't already in the car. He was standing outside of the car when everything was happening. I heard okay. him yelling, and at, when as the door opened and I got out, she hit me in the face, and I fought back. Okay. We ended she up hit you the, in the face with a closed fist, an open fist? I I, a closed fist. A closed fist? Said, yeah, because it was pretty hard. It was a closed okay. fist. It didn't feel like a and slap. Where, or, where did she hit you up? And I think she got me here. You can see it. <clears throat> I cannot. Can you lean your head down a little bit? I don't want to flash your, you don't your see eyes it. or anything. No, ma'am. I don't, I don't, I don't okay. see anything. Well, I, I do mean, feel a little swelling wait. on this side. Okay. Um, here's the scratch. From let, the let, me, let me take a picture of that. <clears throat> How long ago did this happen? This was about 20 minutes ago. At about the 20 kitchen. minutes ago? Yeah. Why didn't you stay on scene? I went inside. I guess I was trying to get my son home. Okay. What's this on your shirt? Is that that's, is it, that's, that's just food? Yeah, okay. that's nothing. Right. Catch you, from earlier. Do you have any other injuries? Um, probably, is there anything on my arm? Yeah, if you want to turn a little bit. I know I feel It's just something. a little scrape. Yeah, I feel something. The swelling in my face probably hasn't um, right. shown yet. <clears throat> right, and, and with that being said, if you do see any lumps, bumps, scratches, anything, mm -hmm. um, Give us a call back so we come back out here and take more pictures. Okay. Okay. Her name is Lentavious. Okay. You know you know who she is? I know who she is. I know, and I know where they live at. Okay. Where my kids father lives. He was in her truck with her. She lives with him? Yes. So, yes. They are going through a custody battle, split custody. Um, but she's more of like a, a hostile person. Um, so, he's been like receiving threats from her, sending messages, and things like that, and I don't get involved because it's parents, you know what I'm saying, and they just have a child together, so I always, you know, let him handle it, um, but on yesterday, there was an incident at a football game, um, she approached him with my small son with him, um, trying to fight him out there, threatening him, you know, to walk up, and he's just like, I didn't say anything, because I'm like, what is wrong with you, you know, and it's always like that, um, so I... I did, um, when we dropped the, we have him every other weekend, so we, just, we were dropping him off. I asked if I could speak with her for a moment, you know, before the child gets in and everything. So when I tried to speak to her, I said, hello, how are you? You know, just like that. And once I tried to speak with her, she got hostile. She hit, she opened the door, hit me with it. And that I fell when she hit me with the door, because I'm like, wait, wait a minute, you know, I'm just trying to talk to you um, about, you know, so we can come to some agreement. She's like, you don't even know what's going on. I'm just like, I'm just trying to be the middle person to have peace, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, we don't need all of that. That's just too much, you know what I'm saying? And when she hit me with the door, she pulled up, well, she backed up first, so I scraped my knees on the ground. Oh, 
So that's when he got out the car and he picked me up. He grabbed me up. So I made, I did pull her hair, I believe, like trying to hang on, you know, when she was um, driving with the car when she backed up. So I did try and um, pull on, I don't know, if I grabbed her hair or what I grabbed. But yeah, so that's how. So I just have scrapes from the concrete from falling down. Can you take off the bandage I yeah. can see? There's even scrapes on my nose. Check your face, okay? Bravo 3, I'll get with Bravo. Yeah. Yep. You feel like you need EMS or anything like that? How about? EMS, medical, emergency medical. Um, no, I am pregnant, you know, so I wasn't trying to get in, like, anything, but... You're pregnant? Yeah. Does she know you're pregnant? No, she probably doesn't. Okay. So I'm just, you know, trying to file a report, not necessarily charges, it's just like, stay away from me now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you did way too much. So when when you approach her at, at her vehicle, like, explain to me how that incident happened. Like okay, how that. So it was at her. Um, I asked her if she could roll the window down, and I said, "Hello, how are you?" And she was hostile from there. Like she was just like, um, she was like, like doing some kind of like face thing, like, "What you doing?" Here? Like you know. And I'm just like, I'm just trying to figure out what's the issue, because when it gets to threats, I'm just like, why are you threatening? You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, what's the problem? That's all I asked her. What is the issue? Mm -hmm. You know, what is the issue? What can we... I think I know what the issue is. It seems like, it seems like the baby mama is kind of jealous because, because of the child of the father has moved on. That means he has a new girlfriend. That means he has another child on the way. Like, that's what this is all about. Like, that's not that, like... Like, and I'm gonna say this, like, I don't know why this woman did this for a reason. I think the woman is still in her feelings because the baby father didn't want to be with the mother. Like, it's just that, like, I'm gonna say this to you. I think, I think what's best is the baby mama, like, like, I don't know what's going on with the mother of the child, but... Like, I think she need to get her shit together before, before she start going around attacking people like that, like, and I just heard, like, and I just heard that, and I'm gonna say this too, that's a lot of men out there fighting, fighting for child support, because out there, they getting, like, that's so many, like, I'm gonna say this right now, there are so many fathers out there who have worked hard their whole life, they earn every fucking paycheck, and they get, they get their checks get taken away from child support, because they haven't paid child support, if you got a child, if you got responsibilities, and you haven't paid child support in like in a while, like that's different though. But like, but these women, but these type of women, they get away with shit. They get away with shit, and and like it's just kind of messed up. It it is kind of messed up. Like I don't know what's going on between, in between the biological parents, about about have about like having to discuss. And I don't know why the mother was sending him threats, sending him threats. I think she's still in her feelings because like that the baby father didn't want it to be with the mother. Like, that's kind of messed up. Like, I don't know what's going on, but this is too much right now. This is way too much. I think this shit, all oh, this shit need to stop. Let's get back into it. And I've actually had a conversation with her before. The same, like, a same issue as far as over the phone. I'm just like, I don't understand. You guys are, you know, grown. Your parents, like, why... Is it such an issue to get along? And then she's yelling at me over the phone, you know, but I didn't think, I don't know her like that. So I didn't think that it would ever get to something like that, you know, because we've never, we don't know each other. Right. You know, so I, I don't know. So uh, when you approached her at her window, did you reach into her vehicle or anything like that? No, no. Okay. 
So I watched the video. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything you want to change about what you just told me? A video? Yeah, there's a video. There's surveillance video at the gas station and stuff. Okay. And that's when you guys get into like a little argument or Yeah, whatever. I'm telling her to leave my window. Get out my window. You are not his father. Why are you to my window? Was your you know window already rolled down? Yes, and I was probably roll, try, rolling it up. It's, I probably haven't did it yet. You will see once. <coughs> I was trying to let the window up, and that's when she went in. What do you mean she went in? She came in the window, and she mugged me in the face. When you said... My son is standing on the other side. That's my son. That's your son. His dad is in the up? car. He didn't even try and stop nothing. He let my son get. What if he would have got hurt? I hear you. How old is your son? He's eleven. <coughs> old child. And I don't get into no altercations. I don't been on probation for five years. I don't get into no trouble. I I hear you. I understand. Oh, because you don't want to pay me child support. Three Ask her if she can get out and talk to me. Uh, is there anything about what you just told me that you want to change? Now, I, I have video and I've watched it. Okay. Um, we, it was a little, well, it was a little words that were being said, a little more words that were being said with me just trying to come at her. She did hit me with the door. Prior to her did, hitting you with the door, did you reach out to her window? Try to keep the window down. Okay, try to keep the window down. Okay. I did. I did. I, I was just like, you know, I did. I did try to, as far as hitting her, no, I was not hitting Did her. you touch her face or anything like that? No, I was not trying, I don't believe I touched her, I was not trying to touch her face. I, I put the window down like this to stop her from rolling up the window to ask her to speak with me because of the threats and the issues yesterday. Okay, do you have I think, I think this woman trying to have a grown wrong woman conversation but the mother but i think the mother has a problem with her has a problem with her like i'm gonna say this to you i don't know what the fuck is going on between two parents are not getting along because and i'm gonna say this to everybody on this damn earth it's not perfect like and i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this i think bitter baby mamas need like like need like to move the fuck on Find that find myself. Like that shit is just so fucking picky for real. I just hate that. That is so that is so because they are they are two parents. Like that's a lot of parents around the world who don't do nothing and they just get it at each other's necks. And I'm sick and tired of that. Because no more that's not that's not co parenting. That's just going like and I'm gonna say this to you. I think I think bitter baby mamas need to leave leave that baby that is alone and also start and find a new relationship that's what they need to do they need to cut that shit off and i understand like i understand the baby mama that the father that the baby that the father is not paying child support if she needed help if she needed help with something if they were the both like the mother and the father they were the both sit down like the adults they were the both had a conversation they were both had agreements and both is something they had disagree on they would have been, they would have been handled, they would have been took care of that shit. But no, but parents, like, two things, but parents want to do that shit their way. But it's taking it, but it's, but it's between violence, between violence, sending, sending text messages, sending threats and all that type of shit. That's just crazy to me. Like, that's just crazy to me. And I'm going to say this to you, right? Just don't go out with a woman who is bitter who also has an attitude who's also in her feelings just don't go out with them type of women man because number one they don't know what they want for real that's crazy you have id on you yes and that's your boyfriend Quentin, yeah and he was the one that was there as well right yeah hey how you doing all right you mind me asking you what happened today we um she just went up there to I, uh, drop my son off, and she went up there to try to talk to her, because the girl always threatening me, talking about she going to slap me and do all this stuff. So she was just trying to... Look, I think, I think, I think the, I think the baby father should cut, like, he needs to cut that one, he needs to cut his baby mama off. Like, it's not going to happen. Like, that, like, I'm going to say this to you, the type of women... 
and be be around with these type of dudes, they crazy. Like, see, that's why I don't date them type of women who send me threats and all that type of shit. See, this is the reason why that I don't date. I don't date single mothers who got kids, and I'm not doing all that. Nobody on this earth doesn't want to be a single stepfather. Nobody. Period. I'm just saying. Tell her how to approach a person. Like, you know, we don't have to be doing all that stuff. We don't have are bills and debt becoming roadblocks that are getting in life's way? What if we told you there was a solution? For over 30 years, be about to be there. So when she walked to the window, she had sh sh slammed the door open and tried to move the car. Then she jumped down and tried to start acting out right. I had went around there to try to get in between them because she had fell on the ground. And I just, we just got out of there. So I told her to uh, make a report just, in, just so you know whatever course of happen, I don't know, but that's so, so I know to cover her back, you know. Right, so um, I watched the video, right. and I see that you're on the driver's side, and this person is stopped, and you ran out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so from your driver's side perspective, when you approach the vehicle, did you see the initial interaction? No, because I was looking down, but I saw her just talking, but I saw her swaying the door open and hit her with the door and knocked her back, and she was like, talking and she tried to move the car and that's when I jumped out and ran around because she had fell on the ground. You're saying that you don't want to pressure, you just want to report files so that this is yeah, it's out there. Yeah, she because she's so lie 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 Yeah. But just she'll try to lie. Every... She's so filled with anger. I don't know. She's jealous and stuff and nobody don't have time for that stuff. Like I have witnesses telling me that you stuck your hand in the window and that you touched her face. Okay. So let, let, let's be honest. Okay. A witness saying yeah. that I touched her yeah. face. I yes, did not touch her face. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I did not it could have been face. on accident. Look, I think because I think, like, if somebody, <clears throat> like, I'm gonna say this though. Don't get me wrong. The camera might be right, but somebody at that gas station it might be. It might be if somebody was there and somebody saw the whole situation. Saw saw the whole situation. Like, like it doesn't lie. Like because sometimes, like sometimes. The truth can be cannot be added up right. It cannot be added up right. It can it doesn't make any sense. It could have been. I didn't touch her. That would be that would mean I was hostile. You know what I'm saying? If well, I'm if I reach right. in and actually touch her face, right. like you know okay. what I'm saying? So it, it, it's it's just what I'm telling you, okay? It, it's what we're being told. Alright. Okay. That's made so, up witnesses because that is it, it, it's not true at all. It's not made up. Okay. I'm telling you what somebody told me. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> as far as trying to, no, I did not touch her face. I can't change a story like that because I okay. didn't, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I didn't touch her face. What I did was try and stop the window. I don't know. So, when you try to stop, how did you try to stop the window? As far as like putting it down, like that, like just to say, hey, you know, don't roll the window out. Let's have this conversation. The conversation needed to be had. It's been going on for a long time. I tried to talk to her before. You, you don't You don't think at that point when she rolled up her window, she didn't want to talk to you. Maybe we should have this conversation another time. Yeah, so my boyfriend did say, well, let's just go, you know. And after that, I was going to walk off, but she opened the door. Okay, and what happened when she opened the door? So she hit me with the door. Right. Um, I just know I fell down. That's how I scraped my knee, and I don't know if I grabbed her. Now, that part I can say, I don't know if I grabbed so her you, out of the you, car. So you fell down when, when, after the door hit after you? After the door hit, yes. <clears throat> okay. And um, then what happened? Um, I don't know if I may have grabbed, like I told her, I don't know if I may have grabbed her or what I grabbed once I fell, and I just know I was on the ground <laughs> with scraped up knees. He got out the car. And that's pretty much what I remember as far as okay. anything. I just well, know my hair had to be pulled or something. I don't know. Okay. At that point. Like I said, I was coming there just to talk. That being said, uh, that officer and I both have watched the video. Okay. Okay. Uh, when we did watch the video, when the door hit you, you never fell. Okay. okay. So how did I I, I don't... Uh, listen, you guys... I must have. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. After watching the video, okay, when the door opens, you guys start grabbing at each other and fighting each other, okay? <clears throat> By you walking up to her window, alright, 
makes it seem like you're the aggressor. Like okay. I was the aggressor. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, but at, at, at this point, okay, I do have enough to place you under arrest, okay? So I need you to turn around. Okay. All right. I'm not trying to do it in front of your kid, okay? So if you want to come over here. So, she, so I'm going to tell you what we're looking at right now, okay? So if I'm going by your side and your side only, all right, we're looking at a, a burglary with a battery, okay? Okay. So by her sticking her hand inside the window, that's a burglary, mm -hmm. okay? So she stuck her hand inside the window without your permission. Yes, and that's with intent to times. commit another, uh, t with the intent to commit another crime, mm -hmm. okay? Which was putting her hands on you, all right? So that's what we're looking at right now. Do you want to press charges? Yes. You do. Yes. Okay. We are in a court <clears throat> order to have time sharing. Okay. With my child, okay. who I have been taking care of for twelve years. He okay. just came in the picture because I put him on child support, and he took me to court to get the time share. He doesn't do what he's supposed to. He's mad about the child support. He mad he was supposed to pay me $500 on Friday, or he was going to have to go to jail. So now, you don't get all this big up, and you did it for your son, and you let him go That is very dangerous, because I don't know what in her mind. She, it just caught me off guard. I'm sitting in my car waiting on my son. Do you think the new girlfriend had any right to confront the child's mother? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for weekly videos. Thanks for watching. Wow, that's crazy. Look, I'm not gonna say this. The new girlfriend, she should have like she like she should have like talked to the like talked to the mother of the child later because before things before things kind of went crazy so the baby mom is pressing charges is pressing charges against against the new girlfriend that he's with and then found out the month in there today right and found out it found out right now now the father is paying five hundred dollars in child support if he doesn't pay by friday that means he's going to end up in jail that's kind of that's kind of fucked up i don't know what's going on between two parents like and I'm gonna say this too. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But that's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of straight straight up ass cowards who don't even care about their kids, anyone but their subs. You see, you see, when kids grow up without a father, that hits me even even hits me below the belt. Be seeing a lot of kids and seeing a lot of kids don't don't have two parent households who are not married, who don't communicate, who don't do anything for each other. You see, this is the reason why I chose to be married to a woman of my, like, <clears throat> um, like the woman of my wife and my kids. And them, cause guess, get, cause guess what? I'm not that type of person. Like, life is too short for all that. Life is too short for all that because guess what? And I'm gonna say this to you. You see, that's why. See, this is the reason why that that is so much shit going on 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 this earth. And it's crazy to me. <laughs> this is just crazy. So, anyway, I want to thank you. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. So, y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on not notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next time video. Peace.